Hey everyone, this is Thruveen and in this session we are going to talk about Smart Narrator Visual in Power BI. So now, let's get started. During this entire session, first of all we will be talking about what is Smart Narrator Visual and how it is useful in our day-to-day -day daily routine. After that, we will be adding one smart narrator visual into our report page and generate some automatic insight with that. After that, we will be customizing the message and adding custom values inside our smart narrator visualization. So stay tuned throughout the entire session. Now first of all let me talk about what is smart narrator visual and how it is useful in our day to day report development process. Many times. We have seen that our users are creating PowerPoint, text boxes, interactive headers to show the narrative of our data. But all of these options are lack of interactive data, interactive customizable text and automatic insight. So Smart Narrator Visual will help us here. The Smart Narrator Visual helps us quickly summarize visual and reports by providing relevant out of the box insights that are customizable. Now let me show you what we are going to create at the end of this video. I have created this type of Power BI report over here where I have one bar chart available here and this is my smart narrator visualization that I have added. Now let's say for an example if I am selecting specific thing from here from my chart you can see that my summary is also filtered based on the selected state from the visualization. Right? So this type of interactive data, interactive customizable tags and automatic insight is something that we are going to create with the help of smart narrator visualization. So now let me show you how I have developed this entire thing in detail. So now let me create one report page here and let me show you step by step procedure in order to proceed smart narrator visual. With this I am going to explain each and every property about smart narrator visualization in detail during this session. Also one important thing to note here, I have uploaded the practice file for this Power BI and its data source on my github account. You can directly download that file and practice more about smart narrator visualization in detail. So now let's get started. One more important thing we need to consider here. This feature is available from September 2020 update. So make sure that you have updated your Power BI desktop with the latest version of September 2020. Now once you update your Power BI desktop, you need to enable one preview feature. In order to enable preview feature, go to the file menu, click on options and setting and click on options. Go to the preview feature and make sure that you have enabled smart narrative visual from here. Now let me just click on OK and restart my Power BI desktop by closing and reopening them. So once you reopen your Power BI desktop you will be able to see one more visual has been added here and you can see that its name is smart narrative and this visual is just beside of this Q&A visualization and this will look like this. Now let's add that visualization in our report page and check out its feature in detail. Before we get started let me give you overall idea about my data source. Basically I have taken two different table, one is state and second one is state wise data. Now what the data mean by here, let me explain you. The state wise data is showing the generalized summary for confirmed, recovered, death and active cases of COVID-19, right? And state is something, state table is something which stores daily data by state by different category, right? and the relationship is given with the help of state over here. I have prepared one graph which shows the data from the summarized table which is state wise data. I am showing state over y axis and I am representing active, confirmed and death cases over here. Now I want to prepare smart narrative visualization like this. I want to show the following data. I want to show the state name which has the highest confirmed cases, highest death cases. Then 
द स्टेट विच हैज द लोएस्ट केसेस एंड द केस विच हैज एक्सट्रीम केसेस नाउ विथ दैट आई ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू शो द समरी बाय डिफरेंट मंथ राइट सो हाउ कैन आई रिप्रेजेंट दिस टाइप ऑफ स्मार्ट नेरेटिव विजुअलाइजेशन लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू दैट थिंग इन डिटेल टू यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गो टू योर रिपोर्ट पेज एंड एड स्मार्ट नेरेटर विजुअलाइजेशन फ्रॉम हियर सो दिस विल एड दिस टाइप ऑफ टेक्स बॉक्स फॉर यू ओवर हियर राइट सो द टेक्स बॉक्स हैज बीन क्रिएटेड सक्सेसफुली नाउ दिस हैज जनरेटेड सम ऑटोमेटिक इनसाइट्स ओवर हियर राइट नाउ वन मोर थिंग लेट से फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू जनरेट द इनसाइट फॉर स्पेसिफिक ग्राफ यू कैन राइट क्लिक ऑन द ग्राफ देन क्लिक ऑन समराइज सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट इट इज क्रिएटिंग अ स्मार्ट नैरेटर विजुअल लाइक दिस राइट सो दिस इज द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द ऑटोमेटिक इनसाइट्स ऑफ स्मार्ट नैरेटर विजुअल नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू कस्टमाइज द टेक्स्ट एज वेल एज वैल्यूज इन साइड अवर स्मार्ट नैरेटर विजुअल सो हाउ कैन वी डू दैट let me explain you that thing in detail let me just remove this one now first of all i want to represent highest cases lowest cases and extreme cases so let me type some text over here the first one is highest confirmed cases then i want to represent highest highest death in the state then i want to represent lowest cases in which state and extreme cases in which state right now i want to add the value which should be dynamic right now in order to do that just click on value from here right now we need to type a question here now we need to add dynamic value for each of the statement now let me show you how to do that for that click on the value and type a question over here so that will give you answer as a result column over here and you can add that value inside this text box right now one more thing to remember let me just type a question like which sta which state has highest confirm cases so let me just type as which state which state has highest highest confirmed cases right it is showing like this and it is showing us the correct result like that maharashtra has the highest confirmed cases right so we can add that value over here we can let's uh, rename this value as highest confirmed case right just save that and now it has added that value over here right now uh, similar way let's say highest death in the state right so let's add one more value right now whenever you type anything here it will automatically provide you the suggestion right but if your visualization do not show any suggestion to you meaning that the question and answer is not enabled for your report so make sure that let's say you just need to click on new page and just add this q and a visualization and make sure that q and a has been enabled for this particular report otherwise this particular visual will not show you any suggestion this is the thing which i have observed for the first time when i added this visualization right now highest death right so let's search for state state wise data state uh, it is showing the data source name and it is showing the column name state wise data state which has highest death right so let's just rename that value as highest death 
right so it has added that value now lowest case which state has the lowest cases like so let's just ask a question which state has lowest confirmed cases right so Lakshadweep so let's just click on save so that has been added now extreme cases now let's search for extreme cases extreme cases right now this word is something which is not suggested so we can define that term so just click on define term so it will show the similar q and a type of pop-up to us where we need to define that term right extreme cases is the word that we need to define right so this is the word that we are going to define so let's search for that particular word and now let's add this represent to state wise data right state wise data where confirmed cases are more than state wise data that has confirmed cases confirmed is greater than or equal to 1 lakh 50,000 1.5 million right so this is the condition right so you can see the result as well so we have defined that term extreme cases let's click on save so here we have seen that we have defined this particular term extreme right so uh, extreme means the state which has greater than or equal to 1 lakh 50 thousand records meaning 1.5 million records let's just cancel that and let's add again so which is showing the extreme cases like this right now one more thing we need to add here we just wanted to add some summary as well right so let me just add some summary over here so April May June July now I want to find how many cases were there in April May June and July right now uh, let's add some values over here so basically this particular values are available into the state table so basically I just need to search for April months summary so it is automatically showing April start date I need the confirmed cases right so uh, April's confirmed cases so I just need to search for confirmed cases April start date state confirmed right so it will give me April's data so let's just rename this as April and just click on save let's add that value here this is the April so let me just add April's value right similar way let's create one more question for me right this is the data for me let's rename that click on save so it has been added right same way for June and July let's proceed the same thing June we have added these values over here right so this, uh, this is how we can easily add the dynamic value for each of the label right now let's just format this visualization a little bit proper so let me just increase some font over here let's just increase font up to 18 now let's make this header as bold let me just change the font color now let's say you have already defined this particular thing over here now you want to edit that so just select that particular answer and that will show you 
the question and the answer over here you can also format your answer as well using this different formatting option now let's say these are the total cases in the april and now i am changing its type to decimal number and i want one decimal over here so i am just selecting like this and i can change that format with the one decimal like this so this type of conversation you can perform with the help of this smart narrator visual itself so our smart narrator visual has been created successfully now let's just provide one title here so i'm just turn on title and let's provide a title as summary and let me just align it to center right now it has been created now i want to give shadow as well so i'm just selecting the visualization and turn on shadow right now let's test this visualization in detail now let's say i am selecting this particular state from here and you can see that these values has been changed according to the selection now let me select the multiple values over here so i am just pressing shift key and selected multiple states from here and you can see that based on that it has automatically filtered my entire record in the smart narrator visualization so isn't that amazing so this is how smart narrator visualization work in power bi hope this is clear for you now if you have any question related to this topic you can add your questions in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay tuned with me on facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your whatsapp number stay connected with me have a great day goodbye